the problems of uh, the GATT was that if a country decided that a trading partner was violating a trade agreement and uh, uh, the trading partner was disagreeing, then there was no effective binding mechanism to determine who was right and to enforce the agreement through punishments. The WTO was created exactly to fill this gap. The key point is that the WTO offers an effective mechanism to settle disputes between countries on trade agreements. So if two countries have a disagreement, a WTO panel uh, meets and issues a ruling on the violation. So it basically says whether who's right and who's wrong uh, on uh, uh, this disagreement. If a country uh, that is a participant in this dispute disagrees with the ruling of the panel, it can appeal the decision uh, exactly like in a court system. Um, after the appeal, the ruling is final. So after you know, the, the appealing court, in a sense, meets and decides, um, the countries have to adopt uh, the decision. And uh, suppose that a country doesn't comply with the decision of the appeal, uh, of the appeal panel then other countries can uh, technically uh, cross retaliate. What does that mean? It means that say that the violation is about um, tariffs on textile products. So like uh, uh, the agreement uh, in a round of negotiation says that we, um, we are not supposed to uh, put any tariffs uh, on imports of textiles. Um, however, uh, it seems that, say, the United States are imposing a tariff on imports of textiles uh, from China. China and the U.S. might go to WTO. They might have... Uh, um, the WTO will have a panel that uh, decides who's right and who's wrong. Suppose that the WTO rules that there was a violation of the rules and that the U.S. is imposing a tariff uh, that is illegal on uh, um, uh, Chinese imports uh, of textiles and uh, the U.S. appeal, but they lose the appeal. What happens next? Well, the U.S. have to comply uh, with the decision, but suppose that they don't comply. Then that's when cross-retaliation comes in. Um, China and even other countries can impose tariffs on imports from the US in other sectors, say automobiles, uh, which would have end up which would end up hurting producers uh, uh, in the US, uh, which is the country that is not complying with the rules.